Hi third graders, today our learning target is I can find the product of two numbers. Hmm, this word product should be new for you. So, so far we've talked about the word sum. Remember sum is when you add two numbers together. Then we talked about the word difference. Difference is when you subtract two numbers. So if sum is plus, difference is minus, what do you think product is? You maybe guessed it. It means multiply. When I take two numbers and multiply them together, they equal the product. All right, so let's look at some things. Here we have three plus three plus three plus three. Let's think about this. Three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus another three equals 12. Hmm. You added three how many times? One, two, three, four. You added three four times. So all multiplication is, is when you add a number that many times. That's why you'll sometimes hear multiplication called times, because it's how many times you add a number together. Well, look at this one. We have four plus four equals eight. Eight plus four equals 12. How many times did you add four? You added four three times. Look at all these are, is there the turnaround fact of each other? Three times four equals 12 and four times three equals 12. So let's think of multiplying. When we think of a number, we can draw an array. An array is an equal group. Arrays, when we are looking at four times three, I can do four rows of three. So here's four rows, one, two, three, four, and there's three in each row. Then I could count them to get the answer. Another way I could find four times three is I could count by three, four times. Three, six, nine, 12. Okay, here we could see it in a word problem. My teacher bought ice cream, brought ice cream to school. She is giving three scoops to each student. After she serves the first four students, how many scoops has she given away? Well, she serves four students. One, two, three, four. Those are the students. Remember that each student, a lot of times when we're doing multiply, you'll hear the word each. Each student was given three scoops. So this person got three scoops, this person got three scoops, this person got three scoops, and this person got three scoops. And if we added all those together, three times four would give us 12. We can also make groups. We can say this is four groups of three, four groups of three. So drawing pictures can help us with multiplying. Let's look at a couple more. If I have a problem that looks like this, I have three boxes of markers. Each box has 10 markers. How many markers do I have? Well, each box has 10. 10, 20, 30. When I use pictures to help me solve a multiplication problems, it helps me go faster and it also helps me make sense of the problem. Look at here. I have two boxes of donuts. Each donut has a dozen donuts. I know a dozen is 12. How many donuts do I have? Well, I know this box has 12 and this box has 12. So if I add 12 plus 12, I'm gonna get 24. Now, what does that look like as multiplying? Well, I added 12 two times. So 12 times two also equals 24. All multiplication is, is just adding multiple times. Let's look at our journal page today. 
All right, make sure when you're solving journal pages that you highlight the important um, parts of the question. Yosh has four boxes of mini stock cars. There are 10 stock cars in each box. How many cars does he have? Well, let's switch back to our pen and right here, he had four boxes, cars per box. So how many were in each box? 10. Now we're looking for cars in all. So if you think about drawing a picture, it would be one, two, three, four. He had four boxes. This one had 10, this one had 10, this one had 10, and this one had 10. So our answer would be 40. 40 what? What is our unit? What are we counting? We're not counting boxes. We're counting cars. And you can always go back to the problem and look at the question. How many stock cars does he have? Always go back and check your answer. All right. Here, this is my picture. My picture helps me to know that it makes sense. We're not adding here. A lot of kids want to add 4 plus 10. That's going to give us 14. That doesn't make sense because I have 10 in each one. All right, let's try another one. There are 100 file cards in a package. How many cards are in five packages? So I have cards per package. We have 100 file cards in each package. Okay, I have five packages. I'm trying to figure out cards in all. So think of your packages. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many does each one have? Each one has 100. There's one. Oh, my pen is going crazy. We have 100 in each one. So if you think, how many is that in all? One, two, three, four, five. Hundred. What's our unit? Let's go back and see. Five. How many cards are in five packages? Five hundred cards. So third graders, I want you to remember that when you look at a number, make a number problem, draw a picture, help it make sense. Think about multiplication. When we have three boxes and we have to add ten, three times, that's a multiplication problem of three times 10. Remember that our learning target is, I can find the product of a number, uh, of two numbers. And remember product means that we would multiply those two numbers together. Be on target today and start thinking about multiplication.